Hi everyone, my name is Wawa and I'm back for the game number 3 of the Wawa Quick Attorney uh, Semifinals B hosted by Wawa Starcraft and PinoyStarcraft.com and it's going to be game number 3 of the Semifinals B between Kaboom and Heaton it is now 1-1 and final match for between them is going to be coming right up it's going to be starting in 3, 2, 1 and go we're going to see Kaboom right there spawning at the bottom spawning position as that seal Protoss and his opponent the usual Heaton spawning at the north spawning position as the purple Protoss so I need to change this color right here to purple and yes there you go and we're gonna do this game right here at Metalopolis and Metalopolis I'm pretty sure you guys are familiar about this no introduction needed but I have to tell you guys about the difference I'm spawning from here or if he, if he didn't spawn it here and if he spawned it here so yes and right now the spawn position is in favor of Heaton this is as much or as far as you can get in this map and and Zerg players really like to spawn really really far uh, from their enemy because they really really like to macro and near spawning position is very very hard indeed if he didn't spawn it here at this position he's gonna be in big trouble because uh, that kaboom can just uh, do a lot of harassment or not really a lot of harassment but then again he can do a successful harassment if he indeed choose to do so because spawning position is so damn near especially if you're going up against Terran which is almost a GG already if you're spawning close position but now again but the Zerg players are having to find their way to counter off that harassment and if you're spawning here you're gonna be spawning really really close through air so yes that's gonna be in favor of I have to say Zerg because Zerg players use Mutilus a lot but then again Protoss players can always do uh, rush for Void Race if they want to but yeah that's pretty much it that's pretty much it for the background of the map and we do have a gold expansion two gold expansions actually at the middle of the map we do have two cellular towers as well to keep an eye on everything that's happening right now we do have a probe right here finding we are hidden this and good job right there by that probe and we do have a drone right here as well so he didn't think he's gonna keep that alive for a little bit longer and he wants to keep that alive a little bit longer as well because he wants to know everything and everything that's happening right now we do have a ooh, weird opening right here we do have 14 a hatchery and then a 15 hatchery right here so yes very very weird opening right here I'm not sure what's gonna happen and it doesn't really have a gas right now so what can we expect Ooh, very very awkward so I guess when he found out that Date or Kaboom wasn't really spawning near him he had a change of heart but he still continued to go for spawning pool first and then go to hatchery so yes something unusual right here coming out of the base of Heaton and opening wise very unusual indeed as we do have two zerglings on the field right now and pretty much gonna be killing off this probe right there that or that's what he wants to do and we do have a wolf statue right there still there never moved and yes finally that hatchery is halfway done or more than halfway done and the next factory is being built right now so gas is very late right now 21 food count not really late but yeah in this opening yeah when you do have the zerg or when you do have the spawn pool it's pretty much late but you're gonna have your expansion very early so yeah it's pretty much a pop plus or minus uh, from both sides I have to say as we do have these zerglings just running around running around we do have a fair opening right here very basic opening right here by Kaboom just a very normal wall off as normal as you can get we do have this pro right this drone right there just chilling right there I think he was tempting Kaboom to move away those that zealot uh, and I don't know why though but yeah finally that stalker did came out and just killed off that drone very very easily two gas going on right here for Kaboom very typical though for Zerg for a pro player I'm always surprised to see two gas on very early in either races but then again I start to think or I'm pretty much sure that Protoss players like to use second gas early for their tech units and their whatnot and we do have a toilet castle being built right here by Kaboom so Kaboom hidden gateway right there uh, 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 what can we see what can you see as the outcome of this game two gateways as well at the back so yes pretty much hidden units right, buildings right there and I'm pretty sure hidden is pretty much in the dark still and blink oh blink the very very awesome blink kaboom really really likes blink he can really micro very well he did this game or he did micro or he did blink stalkers I have seen him use blink stalkers for a couple times now and he did do them very very nice very very well and yes pretty much I can I can say he can do a lot of stuff with a blink micro stuff as we do have a Roche Warren being Mildred Rest L 
as well. So we might see a little bit of push right here coming out of Re Heaton and very soon as that as soon as that heater he as uh, that Roche wine finishes. And Robox facility being built right here. Oh, surprise, surprise. I wonder what he's gonna do with it. I think this is only a bluff to show that Heaton is or that to show to you Heaton that he is going to go for tech but then again he does have a couple more gateways right here at the back which is not really gonna happen and he is, does have a twilight castle and he is going for blink stalkers and I'm pretty sure Kaboom is gonna surprise Eden when he sees those blink stalkers so we do have a lot of zerglings on the field right now I'm not sure how blink stalkers can fare up against Zer uh, zerglings though because zerglings are speedlings excuse me because speedlings are so damn strong even on by themselves and four stalkers can't really kill all those speedlings and there's a lot of speedlings already on the field but I have to say and I think we're seeing more speedlings coming out. We do have three queens here just aligned. I think he's waiting for a little bit of void rare harassment coming out of the base of Kaboom because Kaboom did use a void rare harass a while ago. Uh, game number one, actually. And yes, it was indeed successful, but then again, he didn't came back from it and just did a good, terribly, terribly good job. And we do have a gateway being built right here, the fourth one, I have to say. And Kaboom really not using anything that for that robotic facility. He did use that for an observer though so that's pretty much the story of that robotics was still, but then again that's the best thing you can get out of that uh, building right now because he is going for a four gate push very very soon as we do have a proxy pattern right here just warping down units and warping in more units and finally the push right here by kaboom almost there how many units do we have we have <laughs> a lot of units right there become nine stalkers right there I'm pretty sure they're gonna be able to kill off a lot of units if he indeed chooses to do so and finally the pattern right here is completed I think he's just easily warp in units right there and we do have a warping in units sentries are being warped in up there so he's just gonna wall off this ramp because he knows that there is an, there is the units of units down there below the ramp and here we go blink microing right there good micro right there by kaboom gonna completely f shut down that ramp right there he's gonna be preventing those units of Heaton to do any damage at all to those targets I think he, kaboom just walk, should just walk fire on those just before that shield just finishes as we do have the stalkers doing more damage, r relatively more damage, and those Zerglings are just killing them, are just doing them one by one, and finally the Zerglings are out, going for us around, and here we go, Kaboom doing his best to micro around, losing a lot of Stalkers, good micro right there, Blink missing the ledge right there, I have to say, but then again, it's almost a good job right here by Heaton, Heaton, uh, Kaboom, using all the best again, finally drones are in the field, ladies and gentlemen, drones are taking a lot of damage as well, good job right here by Heaton, using those drones wow good job by kaboom as well blinking away and also keeping that observer up there to keep an eyesight off the <laughs> high ledge right there and we do have more zealots being warped in right here so good job Ooh, blinking in again blink stars are so damn crazy they can do so much damage to any units at all if they're in a uh, critical amount right there and finally once more he didn't gonna fool off those drones from the middle line nothing really mining right now for he didn't research tab real quick oh no I pressed the replay button ah restart button sucks 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 anyway anyway fuck it just just finish it you didn't see anything so yes yes we are back guys and those spine drives are gonna be dying before even before they burrow guys even before they burrow they're gonna die so sad so sad to see those spine crawlers die and there you go GG for our hidden losing the game wow hidden is out it is gonna be a PvP matchup for my finals it is between Date and Kaboom wow good job good job right here so it is pretty much a fail in this casting but yeah whatever I'm gonna come back next time and stick around guys, it is gonna be the finals between Date and Kaboom PvP matchup. Look around, stay stay tuned. Peace.